Welcome to my Wix landing page tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to create a landing page with Wix and it's very straightforward to do. You can follow along with me right now, so let's begin. Inside the dashboard when you're on your site, in case you don't know how to get to here, simply go to all sites right here and then just go to go to all sites. Or what you can do is simply click right here, create new site or right here where we are on the dashboard. Let's do that. So what's going to come up here, which can always be different, it says bring your ideas to life with AI. You can start a chat with this. However, I'm going to do startup without chat just because you might be doing a landing page that is completely different. So your instructions might be different towards someone else's. And I want to just make it easy for anyone to, you know, kind of go through and pick the specific steps that you need to do and almost start from scratch where you can make it very simple, basic and straightforward. So, so I'm going to click set up without chat on this. Okay, and what we want to do here is skip on the bottom right, but before we do, in case you need a little bit more inspiration, you can type in landing page and it's going to give you some more inspiration about what you might want to be doing. For example, like a product landing page, which is something I'm going to be doing in this as a, a variation, which I'll talk about. Uh, consulting, albums, summits, business, ebooks, which can be a popular one, YouTube, that's also what I'm going to be doing with this one. I'll, I'll talk about it as I go through webinars and so on and so forth. However, I'm just going to click on X because we can choose our landing page template after. I'm going to go with skip. All right, so our landing page is almost created. What do we want to call it? So based upon what you're going to be offering on your land landing page, you can be doing that. For example, if you're promoting a product, probably just call it the title of that. For example, I'm going to be promoting, say, Create Studio in this one. So I'm just going to call it that and click on continue. All right, this isn't a big deal. Like for this, we're going to be selling products on a landing page, but you can you know, click off whatever you want here or just do skip. I'm going to do continue here and we don't need to add any of these. This is just going to be a single page landing page. So unless you want bookings and so on and so forth, uh, you can do that. But mostly you're probably going to want to do skip here. You can always add it in later is what I'm getting at. All right, you're all set. Continue to dashboard. All right. And so here we are. What I want to do is go to the top right design site. Let's click here. All right, so here we are. We have two options. We can generate a design with AI. And like I said, that can be really different based upon what your needs are going to be. I want to go with a template here. I'm going to go pick a template. And so here we can actually type in landing page if we want just to kind of showcase some of them that are going to be here. Uh, let's do enter. There's not a ton of them, which is fine, but in the future, say if you wanted to do something that was more real estate related, like that could be good for you. If you had a specific app, if you were doing a webinar, we have consulting, a product landing page, app landing page, and so on and so forth. However, what I want to do is go to blank templates right here. These I think are some of the best. And while they look blank, in my opinion, all my years of marketing, I think that the simple, clean landing pages convert the best. There's less clutter on them. And it allows you to get up and running very quickly because you don't have to focus so much on how it looks. Okay, so while minimal layout is great, I love this because the idea of this landing page, let's view it very quickly. One, it's going to be very easy to edit and take off some of the things, but we have a very big headline here. We're going to have our main video. Obviously, you can always have text there. We're going to have a call to action. And then anything else can be added if needed, which is going to be very flexible to your needs on this landing page. Nevertheless, I'm going to go with this. So let's click on edit this site. All right, so right when we get here, it's saying enhance your AI content. I don't need to do this specifically. Uh, this landing page is going, to, is going to be pretty straightforward. And plus, if you know your product you're promoting or whatever it is going to be on this landing page, you can probably describe it a little bit better than AI. But in case you wanted to do that, you can. I'm going to specifically X out. All right. So here's something very important when it comes to landing pages. In case you're not too familiar with them, I'm sure you have at least an idea of how they work. Usually you want one main goal or one main action that your traffic or your audience wants to take. So when they get there, say we have a product we want to promote, the main thing is for them to say click on that link so they can go and purchase it, right? If you are generating leads, the main goal is to generate a lead. With that in mind, you want to have at least amount of distractions as possible. With that being said, we do not want a menu here, okay? If you send someone to a single landing page, you want them to buy, you want them to purchase, you want them to sign up, send an email, you don't need them looking around in your about section, in your services, in your gallery. That's what your main website is going to be for. So I bring this up because we want to remove the header and footer section. There's really just a header here, so that's easy to do. We go here on pages and menu. Let's click on this. From there, we have home. Let's go to the three dots. Let's click there. And let's go to the settings. Okay, once that opens up, we have layout. And just like that, we want no header and footer. So uh, let's see if I scroll up. That's going to be the header. When I click on this, 
it is magically gone. And that's fantastic. Like I talked about the last thing you want to do, let's say you were sending paid advertising to a landing page like this. In my opinion, if you were collecting leads, you don't need to have them searching around all these other spots because it's so easy for them to get distracted. Okay. So first things first is going to be our headline. What we can do is edit text. So click there once, then you can click here. What I like doing if you're gonna be promoting a product is using some type of hook or some type of benefit or some great feature. For me, in this example, I love talking about software. So an example for here might be, all right, so how to create Pixar videos, you know, like the ones in Toy Story, but for your marketing campaigns, you might think about like, how could I ever do that? Well, that's what this is going to show you like in my review. So I do wanna make this a little bit smaller so it's on one line. Let's say we wanna do 55. I think that looks perfect and great. So that's gonna be our headline. We can also just kind of drag it up a little bit towards the top if needed. All right, next is going to be the slideshow section. And honestly, we don't really need this. You can, but you know, you're gonna probably either want text or video here. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna click on backspace on my computer and it is going to be gone. We don't need that. What I'm gonna replace it with is if we go up to the add elements section, we can look right here for video and music. Okay, and from there we have YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is just drag and drop it right into the center let's let it go okay so first and foremost i do want to make it a little bit bigger i think it's too small and what we can do from there is center it nicely if we move it around you're going to notice how it centers in the middle of the page which is a good thing right so that's going to be our headline we can probably move it up a little Another tip when it comes to creating a landing page, you usually want to have your main goal above the fold. Like this is especially true if you're going to be generating leads. I know this isn't a case for lead generation in this one, but for example, if this was about generating leads and someone had to scroll all the way down to the bottom just to enter their email, a lot of people don't scroll down. So what you're seeing right now is above the fold. That's something to keep in mind. With that in mind, we want to have our call to action about right here. So when they arrive on the page, literally there's two things they can do. They can watch this video and and or they can click on the button to purchase. That's what we want, right? So what we can do now is go to add elements. We have text right here and we can choose from any of these that we want to use. I like this one right here. It says I'm a paragraph. So we can just drag and drop this in right here. We can also make this bigger. This is going to be our call to action. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to do edit text. We want to make sure it's an actual call to action. So I can say something like click here to purchase the Create Studio Lifetime Deal, okay? Now, if you're gonna notice, it is not centered. I think it looks funny like that. So I'm just gonna highlight it all. And what we can do is go to Alignment and we can center. There's a few other things we can do, especially since it's going to be a link, right? So let's click on our link right here. All right, and once we are here, what we wanna do is web address, okay? And from there, make sure it is on new window. It is right now. This is important, especially if you have a video because they might be watching it. And if you do in the current window, it's gonna stop it. And of course, you know, they might not hit back or so on and so forth. So it's good to keep that there. I'm just gonna do AOL.com. Disclaimer, don't send your traffic to AOL. They have plenty of them just to showcase that it's a link, okay? Something else I like doing, what I wanna do is highlight this. So it is underlined already, but let's make it blue because ideally when when someone sees text that is underlined and blue, it usually means that it's going to be a link. Is this one better? Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? So that's gonna be the link there. Okay, so let's move this up a little bit more and let's center it, perfect, just like that. You'll know it's centered when you drag it in the middle and you have that line, the vertical line showcasing there. Okay, now what I wanna do is replace the video. So I can click on the video here and change video. And I already have my video saved as in I copied it. So I'm just going to paste it in right here. Ta-da, there I am. So there's going to be my Create Studio review. So as you can see right here, the main idea is that they're going to hop on this page, like say they're getting sent an email. They understand that it's going to be for something created, the Pixar videos. They see the matching headline. They can watch my review. And of course, this is the call to action. This is all they're seeing right now. And that's fantastic. There's no other ads anywhere. There's no menus. There's no pop-ups unless that pop-up was going to be for something related in Create Studio. Like I said, one main goal, one main action here. Now there's going to be other sections under here. Ironically enough, you can unleash your imagination. This could be a good example, say if you had bonuses for that specific product, that's something you can put here. You can put testimonials, but if you don't have any of those things, I'm actually just going to delete this section. So I clicked on it and I'm gonna hit backspace. Like I said, we have a very plain Jane landing page, which I happen to love. One more thing you might wanna use. So what I am going to do is once again, go to add elements here. 
Let's go to text something a little bit smaller. And what I want to do is just kind of drag and drop it down at the bottom. And I didn't get to do that. I just, I missed the bottom. So let me do that again. Text and let's do this one. Great. And I need a little bit more space in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is hover over the bottom section and just kind of drag it down, drag it down, drag it down. Okay. Great. The reason you have this is because sometimes you need like a privacy policy. If you are collecting leads or generating leads, you know, say like terms of service, contact, uh, these are going to be needed. And yes, while these are links, they're usually necessary on landing pages, right? Especially if you're doing paid ads, right? So for example, once again, let's center this. And what we can do here, edit text. It's harder to type because the mic is just really in front of me blocking my view and then like terms of service, something like that. So what you would do is link to those pages from here, which we know how to do, right? Highlight this specific section, add your link, go to a web address, unless it's already on a page, open it in a new window and you are going to be good to go. So ideally, this is what our landing page is going to look like. We're going to save it, of course. Sure. Let's save and continue. And last but not least would obviously be publishing it, which I can just do to show you right here. This is what we do when we publish. All right, and in case you wanna preview it, what I'm gonna do is click on the preview button and that's gonna pretty much cap off this Wix landing page tutorial. Pretty simple stuff. Like, of course, if you want to remove this, you can obviously upgrade, but that's what our landing page is going to be like. I love landing pages like this. One, they're very easy to create. They're simple to create. And another big benefit of any time you create a landing page, this doesn't happen to be in Wix. This is just a marketing thing in general in terms of saving you time. Whatever platform you have, you can save your landing page and then just duplicate it. So anytime you wanted to create another landing page that's similar, say for another product, we can change our headline around, we can plug in a different video, and of course add a different link. And this is gonna be all the same once the links are in there, right? So that'll save you a lot of time. This is what I do as well many times just to keep duplicating it, changing around a few things, and you're going to be good to go. Plus, I love landing pages with videos simply because I love creating videos. You might not be that way, but you can always utilize text for more of like a sales letter type of presentation. But this is an example of what's also referred to as a bridge page where you want to, instead of say sending someone to an offer specifically, you're sending someone to a page before, which is the bridge page to help increase your conversions, which can significantly help depending on how good your bridge page is, what's stated in the video, and of course how hot the offer is. But that's going to be that. I think I'm done rambling on. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I really hope this helps you to easily create a landing page in Wix. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.